You play ball like a girl, meant as an insult and a punchline in 1993's The Sandlot, but for Shenango Fork's Hannah Layton and Maine Enville's Jaden Finch, it's not only a challenge, but a sense of pride. For the Shenango Forks Blue Devils, the road to a third straight state finals appearance can only happen when working together as a team. Forks on three, one, two, three, four. So it's only fitting that when all 31 Blue Devils are dressed in full gear, even their parents have a hard time telling them apart until you spot a ponytail. That ponytail belongs to Hannah Layton, a five foot eight fullback and linebacker and a girl. I like being aggressive and being able to hit somebody every once in a while and like tackling. I enjoy running the ball also. She's been playing football since she was eight, played lacrosse with the boys, and last May scored a goal in the section finals to help lead the Lady Blue Devils to a lacrosse section title. Being a tenacious girl, her mom questioned her original decision to trade shoulder pads for pom-poms in high school until she realized the alternative was her daughter playing varsity football. Why don't you uh, do cheerleading instead? And she said, no, I want to play football with the boys, so she did. They were like a little worried that I was going to get hurt or break some or, you know, parents. Like, obviously, they're going to like freak out on you, but I was just like, I can do it, obviously. She had her mind set. There was no turning back. I mean, she, she wanted to play, and there, there was no convincing her that don't do that. I mean, she enjoys it. But whatever concerns mom had are not at all shared by her teammates and coaches. She works hard. Uh, she's, uh, she's tough. She's very tough. She gets right in there, and, and, she, and she wants to be in there, both on offense and defense. So uh, she's certainly playing for the right reasons. Hannah's a tough girl, and I mean, she hits us, we hit her. I mean, she does, she does awesome in practice, so we don't take it easy because she doesn't take it easy either. You can't really go easy in football. It's a natural like sport of being aggressive. But Layton's not the only local female in a male-dominated sport. Meet Maine and well lineman Jaden Finch. The Spartan season and historic win streak ended in the state semis, but like Layton, Finch is known for being just as tough as any of the guys, even if players on the other sideline are afraid to hit them. They go easy on me because they've been taught since they were little, you don't hit girls, or they go harder on me because they know I want to be treated just like them. Other teams like look at it different because they're like, oh, I didn't mean to tackle a girl, or like, they just get surprised like a girl's actually playing and actually is like running the ball. But they're all ready for that. I just tell them that I'm, I'm out here for the same reasons you are to play the sport that I love. It's fine. Like, don't worry about it. Like, it's just a normal thing. Like, why apologize? It's football. You got to be, you got to do what you got to do. Well, they don't want anyone on the field to treat them differently. That doesn't mean they aren't treated differently by the fans who cheer louder when the girls who are both on their team's second string get into the game. This community is amazing. The first time I played in a varsity football game, the crowd was like cheering for me at my school because it's such a small community. It's very welcoming and open arms. Everybody enjoys me playing and watching me play. I mean, I, I like it. I enjoy everybody encouraging me. It makes me want to play even more. Some of the crowd was starting to chant Hannah's name and stuff, and uh, we were getting down near the goal line, and even our kids were. It was great. I mean, I, I think I found myself doing it. It was. It's kind of neat. You just wanted to do well. And yeah. now, both Layton and Finch serve as inspiration to other young girls at Forks and Maine Endwell to buck the trend and give football a shot. Girls, like, in school, they'll be like, oh, you're a football player? Wow, I want to play football. They all, like, come up to me, and I'm like, okay, that's, that's good. Let's, let's go play football. So it's really cool to see things like that and be able to talk to those girls and say, you can do this. It's hard, and I'm not going to tell you it's easy, but if, you, if it's really what you want to do, you can do it. Leighton and the Blue Devils will travel to the Carrier Dome on Friday to take on Greenwich at 6, looking for a third straight Class C state title.